Welcome to Cebu. This might just be the most adventurous island in the Philippines. From cliffs to canyons, turtles to sardines, come with us as we explore what we think is the best of Cebu. After a thrilling road trip on Bahal, we took another ferry across to Cebu Island. We spent a few days in Cebu City just kind of getting some work done before taking a four hour bumpy bus ride all the way down to Mwabwal, where for the next few days we're going to be staying with our friends Sammy and Tommy here at Escapo Verde. If you've watched any of our videos before, you know that we typically like to do things independently, which is why for the next three days we've rented scooters and we're going to see the best that Cebu has to offer. Well, it's 5.30 in the morning. We seem to be loving our mornings on this trip. I feel like every day we're up before sunrise, but we're hoping we can go to one of the main peaks in the area and be able to see a beautiful sunrise. So I'm very excited. <laughs> I think that like honestly might be one of my top 10 drives of all time. That was unreal. That was gorgeous. So beautiful. I'm glad actually we were talking about maybe coming up here for sunrise, yeah. but A, I'm glad because we didn't do that because the road was kind of like yeah. scary to be driving it in the dark, but also we would have missed all those views. Like it was so beautiful. Absolutely. I'm always so, so surprised too how many just like towns there are kind of throughout, mm -hmm. like how many people are actually just living in the mountains and it's just like the scenery is just Bar none. Yeah. My absolute favorite part was all the kids walking to school with their oh, big backpacks so and they were waving at us. It was just, they're all so, so cute. cute. But I am also so cold. I'm really glad we brought jackets. So. Yeah. Oh, up here. How do you like my hair? <laughs> I like it. short one kilometer hike up to the top of the peak. We're already halfway. It's supposed to take about 20 minutes or so. But man, it is windy. <laughs> Very windy. <laughs> this is not a good day to wear my hair down. Welcome to Osmania Peak. <laughs> this is the <laughs> highest point on the whole island of Cebu. It's so, so beautiful up here. I can't believe it. I was just saying that it kind of looks like the Scotland Highlands because of all the green rolling hills. And it's all apparently made of limestone, but it just has yeah. these really unique peaks and structures. It's so, so beautiful. And if you can't already tell, it is super windy up here. <laughs> <laughs> we are almost getting if you pulled can't off already the here. <laughs> <laughs> Every time that I think I'm more of a beach gal, I come to somewhere like this and I'm just like, oh, I'm just so content in the mountains. A place like this that's so beautiful just makes my Canadian Rockies heart so happy. I just feel so at peace. I could stay up here all day, but sadly we can't. Nope, gotta go. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you, Nana.
One of the more interesting things to do here in Cebu is to come and see the sardine run. Now we are actually happen to be in kind of the best area for this. Mobile is supposed to be one of the only places that you can actually see sardines gathering all year round. Pretty much everywhere else in the world is only seasonal. So we're gonna have a chance here to go snorkeling with some sardines. <laughs> Um, well, that was amazing. <laughs> My mind is blown. That was so cool. I can't believe we actually got to like swim amongst the sardines. Totally. And even just to see, we came at high tide, so all the turtles yeah. actually come up into the shallows. And even that was just amazing as well. And like the turtle was super chill. Yeah, it was so chill. And it's really cool because I was reading online that they don't feed either the turtles or yeah. the sardines here. So it's very ethical. And they all just naturally happen to be at that drop off area, which yeah. is so cool. It, which is also super strange because I, afterwards I was swimming and I tried to find them like farther out from that one area and they just weren't there. So it's yeah. just like so cool that it's actually really just in this one beach. And we chose to have a guide, which honestly was 1000% yeah. worth it because he took 99% of that GoPro footage. Yeah. And it was so fun for us to be in shots yeah. together and he knew exactly how to get the sardines to, yeah. you know, go around for the shots. So yeah, thank you, Ariel. That was yeah. tight. <laughs> uh, but of course, what other way to end the day than with sunset? And then immediately going to bed because this has been a crazy day. <laughs> yeah, more to come tomorrow. Well, it's six in the morning again. Surprise, surprise. We're going on another adventure today, but I'm very excited for this one because we have an actual tour plan today and it's gonna be crazy. Although it is raining, so. We'll see, it's gonna be fun. Okay, how are we feeling? Ready? Ready now. Ready. Sam Braid is bringing my hair. I'm ready. Sarah sport mode. Woo! Sport, sport mode. mode. Sport mode. Oh, Activated. The girls are in sport mode. The, our guide said we're in Jumanji, so it needed to happen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? Last little bit of coffee. We had some Nutella toast. The, um, I'm feeling ready. I'm feeling ready. fired up yeah. now. <laughs> How good do we look? I feel great. <laughs> Rain's dripping on my nose. Yeah, safety first. Safety first. Better be safe than speedy. <laughs> <laughs> Just realized we never actually said where we're going. We're on our way to do some canyoning, as you can tell, <laughs> to make our way to Ka Kawasan Falls. So this is supposed to be one of the best things to do on the whole island of Cebu. And it is a full day adventure. We had a little bit of a briefing after a crazy drive through the mountains. <laughs> and uh, now we have a what they said a 30 to 40 minute walk down in the canyon. There is an option to do a zip line, uh, but it's raining so heavily that we felt like it wasn't really worth it. And uh, we'll keep you posted how we feel once we're in the wall. It's awesome. You can see all the stalagmites. And it's still pouring rain, but it doesn't matter because that <laughs> hike was really warm. And the water looks so nice below. Are we excited or what? Woo! Super stoked, let's do this. Woo! Woo! Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, it's your knees. Wow, I made it under the water. I don't know how you guys made it under the water. <laughs> I 
cannoneered. Yeah, you did. We're done. Let's go back. Wow, this is gorgeous in here, though. already okay ah! I don't love heights but I'm gonna try to do as many jumps as I can on this one oh my goodness hey, madam. here yes just jump far okay yeah, just jump far where do I put this leg like here three two one Woo! I did it that was nice that was fun I liked it three two one Nice one. You see that? That was nothing. Oh, I'm gonna do bigger. Oh, Gotta be careful and wear like somewhat grippy shoes. Tommy just like slipped and fell right on his butt. But that's also why we have helmets on. All good, Tommy? <laughs> All good, dude? <laughs> One of many. One of many. No falls, no balls. That's what I've heard. I can't believe how gorgeous this whole thing has been. Like all the water and the views, like it's just, everything about this is actually stunning. It's insane. We're just going, yeah, through this canyon, which I guess why it's called canyoneering, but <laughs> it is amazing. And we're only at the halfway point, yeah, that's apparently. Right. So I feel like I've already got a lot of adrenaline, yeah. got a lot of jumps in. But... Also really happy that we came early because they were saying that like, it can really back up if you like wait too long to go in the day. So really happy we got up early for this. Very pleased overall. Cheers, buddy. Halfway. <laughs> Hell yeah, halfway. <laughs> what time is it right now? Beer o'clock. Probably seven, eight, hey, maybe the maybe table, nine. Right? <laughs> you think it's that late? Maybe. <laughs> Big maybe. <laughs> maybe nine at the latest. I had breakfast. This is my lunch. <laughs> my breakfast. Yeah. yeah. Barley wow. sandwich. The bananas here are so <laughs> sweet. <laughs> And so incredibly yellow. Banana, banana cheers. <laughs> Very deep. You good? Yeah. Wow, we are in a cave. Isn't this fun? Oh. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh, this is great. I love it. Ow. You okay? Yeah. You're hitting your head there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing it. We're, I can't even see out of my... <laughs> We're doing it. How blue this water is, this too. Is beautiful, and it's like illuminated. It looks so much like bioluminescence under here. Well, we made it to the last jump. This is supposedly 10 meters. 
I've never jumped this high before. I jumped quite high when we were on Sikihor, but this looks uh, this looks pretty crazy. What do you think, Sarah? Let's jump in. Uh, this one doesn't seem as crazy for some reason. Wow, are you gonna jump off of it? I'm actually kind of tempted. No way. That's crazy, Sarah. You're actually gonna do that? You can do it. I, yeah. I believe you can. I just would be very proud of you if you did that. I think that would be really cool. I'll hype it up in case I don't do it, but yeah. I'm gonna see. Wish, wish me luck. Count me down. Three, two, one, go. Woohoo! I just can't believe how beautiful it is here. Three, two, one, go! Oh my goodness, I can't believe I did that! Sarah! You good? Nice! All good, yeah! I'm gonna cry! That's amazing! I conquered my fear! You conquered it! Nice work. I did it. You did it. It looks a lot higher from up here. And once you're it's running, it's crazy. It's kind of nice that you have to run and jump. I didn't even look stop. over the edge. No. I also closed my eyes so I could <laughs> see how high once I was up there. I can't believe I just did that. I'm actually so proud of myself. I'm kind of emotional. Oh, I hate heights. And I struggle with chronic dizziness. So I often am not having a good enough day to jump off things. But I was like, I'm feeling good. And I'm like, I'm just not gonna really look at it. I'm just gonna do it before I psych myself out. And I did it. And I'm so happy. It didn't hurt that bad, so we're good. Literally obsessed. Look how beautiful and huge this leaf is. Wait, look. <laughs> That is I huge. Really long arms. That's crazy. Isn't that wild. These are beautiful. Look at all oh these. Oh my gosh. That. Look at them all. Pretty. It's like fairyland. Wow. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. I actually like this jungle walking part just as much as the canyoneering part. Yeah, I do so too. pretty. Yeah, and like being able to like stop and like look at all the greenery. Yeah, besides, like swimming around and yeah, trying and trying to, to be in, yeah, <laughs> trying to focus on not dying. Yeah, <laughs> but it is quite a bit of walking actually. I'd say in this trip. Yeah, it's a little bit more walking than I thought, but yeah, me too. I like it. Me too. destination, Callison Falls. Look how beautiful it is! This is gorgeous. Like, this entire trip through this canyon has been absolutely stunning. And exhilarating. It's been yeah. so, so fun. I'm also so happy that we did the 6.30 a.m. tour totally. instead of the later ones because now we're here and there's pretty much no one here, which is amazing. But this whole experience has been so fantastic. Being able to just like jump off of different platforms and like just kind of test ourselves a little bit. I feel like that was just really, really fun. And it's been like three or four hours that we've been here and it's just been, yeah, such a good time. And yeah. our guides have been awesome. They've been taking a lot of really fun videos yeah, and yeah, photos totally. of us. And oh, the whole experience <laughs> has just been amazing. Absolutely, but Look. we are exhausted. I'm ready for an hour. Yeah, we're just gonna go chill tonight and uh, see you tomorrow. <laughs> Well, we tried to wake up past seven o'clock this morning, <laughs> but our bodies just would not let us. <laughs> <laughs> no sleeping in for us anymore. No. But I'm okay with it because we're now just sitting on the dock mm. and it's just so beautiful out here. We were really hoping to go for a little morning kayak where I was, but 
the high tide even isn't that high, so we're not going in the mangroves <laughs> right now. But. That's right. It's really cool to see actually how different the tide is here. Mm-hmm. I feel like in a lot of places that we've been here, the tide hasn't changed that much, but here it's like very clear. Mm-hmm. As we said, we're staying here at Escapo Verde and it's been so, so nice just to be in the mangroves and just like seeing all the nature and um, yeah. It's just so nice to have a peaceful <laughs> getaway after all the crazy activities we've been doing. I feel yeah. like every time we come back here, it's like a nice breather before we yeah. go and do something else crazy, you know? Nice and quiet. Mm-hmm. A nice morning. Mm-hmm. With the room that we booked, we actually get breakfast included, and I ordered a classic Filipino breakfast is a corned beef sea log. So this is basically just corned beef, um, all chopped up and cooked very, very nice. And with some garlic rice, an egg sunny side up. And uh, yeah, it's been a fantastic breakfast every morning. <laughs> Eric and I always order the same. <laughs> yeah, literally the same. <laughs> classic sea log. And Sarah and Tommy always get the Western. Yeah, and I've got to say the food here has been unreal all around. It's so fresh, so many different platters we've never even tried before, a lot of veggie things, and it's just been awesome. We've been exclusively eating here the whole time we've been in mobile. drive was just gorgeous. I still cannot get over how blue the water can be here in the Philippines and being able to just rent our own scooters and drive the coastline ourselves is just like such a special treat. I love it. But we finally made it to our last stop here which is in Nambacan Falls and even just walking down here the stairway through the greenery. I just it's just so beautiful. I can never really like describe it other than that. I just love it. Beautiful. What? I can't get over this. This is one of the favorite waterfalls I've ever been to. It is so beautiful. It's so fun because you can go in behind the waterfall. And it just, yeah, honestly, I wish we had more time to spend here because it is just amazing. Love it. Cheers, you guys. This is so, this is crazy. An epic adventure. This is our last video together. So sad. It feels so weird. It's Aww. weird. I don't ever want to leave you guys. No. I'm actually going to get emotional when we actually have to say bye. Thankfully, we have a couple days in CB <laughs> City together, but. That's true. I'm going to actually be like, I'm probably going to cry. I, oh, for I'm sure going to cry. Gonna cry. Yeah, it's been <laughs> so fun. I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. But I'm already it, sad. It has been a fantastic few days here in Cebu. I'm really happy we actually did it independently as well. Mm-hmm. This whole Philippines trip has been really, really good. Yeah. Cool. We love you guys so much. Yeah, we love, love you guys. guys. Too. Yeah, I love you all. Such yeah, a great fantastic. Adventure. And Thanks don't for... worry, we have more Philippines videos yeah, coming. Yeah, that's right. But sadly, we're leaving them behind. Mm. 
So we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. You sound a little too excited about yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> We're leaving these suckers behind. A little too syrupy about I'm that. So long, nerds. Goodbye. It's all we're fading. Move on. Camera, Get out of here. Like you guys. We yeah. don't want you here yeah. anymore. It's all a show. All right, let's try this. Welcome to another episode of Eric wears the same shirt in the intro, so you can hide this microphone. Get ready to shoot. Hey, there it is. <laughs> Solid. Yeah. There goes your helmet. <laughs> gorgeous, simply gorgeous. Rolling hills with some peaks, you know. Totally. And uh, and what? What? Does oh, it no. totally? Um. And. <laughs> Lost my train of thought. Yeah. We're on our way to do some canyoning, as you can tell. <laughs> Did I say canyoning? There's yeah. There's in there. Doesn't matter. <laughs> cool, perfect. Then I'll just write canyoneering on the bottom. Well, what's the difference? Can we tell? Does anybody know? That's actually the difference. Uh, canyoning would be like, probably more like, almost like spelunking, where you actually like go into a canyon from like, Propelling or something. Yeah, that's I what think we it's did called spunking. Like no, in Ecuador, like where you have like boats and stuff. <laughs> no, I know. No, I think... spunking is when you go in like a small hole. Okay. Well, yeah. I know nothing. I've never done any of these things. All I know is I don't know if they can hear it. That's at all. Oh. It's in a dive case. Oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs>